I'm Jared Deanda. This is Snap-on Tools Tech Series Nitro Edition. We are sitting here with the gnarliest clutch I have ever <laughs> seen, and we have some of the pieces here. The 10,000 horsepower of a nitro engine has to do something. It all goes through this guy right here. This is the latest, greatest nitro clutch, eight stand, six disc. It's a centrifugal clutch. And the way it works is as the engine revs up, all 18 of these little levers swing out and apply clutch. Imagine a big giant C-clamp squeezing this thing together with the revolutions being much like a go-kart, you know, or a car. Yeah. You, you push a throttle, it squeezes the pack. When you hit that throttle, the engine skyrockets to 8,500 RPMs. This thing goes to work. The way it works is it leaves on six of these, what we call primary levers. It's on full throttle. It activates a series of timers that moves this throttle bearing at a speed that we determine prior to the run. What that's doing is it holds back the other 12, and with a little bit of movement, it will release each lever until all 18 levers are applying, usually about half track, and we're on our way. Well, it starts with clutch discs, but then it becomes one cohesive unit. At what point are you fully engaged? About half track on a really good run, but if you hear the engine pull down, that's usually when it's achieving lockup. The sooner you can achieve lockup, the faster you'll go. But of course, you have that smoke of the tire scenario. Well, taking a look at a dissection here. We have six of these guys, and we've got material impregnated onto this plate. And this is actually made about 370 thousandths thick, and we use them till about 280 thousandths thick. And then right here, this is the flywheel. We originally had a six stand clutch, but we feel with the added horsepower that today's cars create, it's better to have eight stands to keep the clutch more in shape and allow us to make as much power as we can. The more you can perfect this on a given racetrack, the better you'll be overall.